hello guys what's up and welcome to spicy updates with lovely aunt oh my goodness i hope you guys are doing okay you guys are still in the heat of celebration are you guys okay please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the youtube channel so you guys yesterday it's no longer news that kelly ray won okay he became the winner of the Big Brother Niger season nine. No lose guard season. Congratulations to him. A big congratulations to him. The love was massive. Guys, it was enormous. The K squad did themselves. Each and every one of you guys who are their supporters did themselves. And the housemates also supported him. Each and every one of them congratulated him. Now, guys, do you know that all these brands they actually were for each of them had something to say? Honestly. I was going through it and I was like, whoa, from techno to checkers, because that to a whole lot of them, um, Premier Cool, they all congratulated Kelly Ray and they feel it is well deserved. Even some of the our pe past BBN housemates like Ilebaye, Fina, they all feel this is grace at work. This is actually grace at work. Do you guys remember this photo? This was the day Kelly Ray won in that Big Brother Niger house. That was the day they had the task and he took the crown, put it on his head. As a, that was the day this win actually came for him, honestly. And since then, God has been seeing him through. Now, there are so many controversies. Oh, Kelly Ray is an undeserving winner. Oh, when he was supposed to win and all that but then you guys you guys remember that this year's team is no lose guard season no lose guard season and housemates i think i expected to work according to the team now meanwhile something has surfaced okay comparing kelly Ray's strategy with one strategy and people are saying look compare these two strategy and tell me why you feel kelly Ray is not an on this is an undeserving winner because going through the two strategies oh my goodness guys you could see that kelly ray made it and wow the margin i know that yes when the s and these fans also tried they tried their best but thank god congratulations to her she won her car now yesterday this young man received the check of 60 m i know the money will be given to him probably today i don't know when they have that ceremony probably today or tomorrow i guess it should be on tomorrow tuesday okay now you guys with a brand new suv he couldn't contain his joy the wifey jumped on him wow and you guys guess what <laughs> i'm a buzz people are saying what is happening in kelly ray and can see us hotel room tonight oh uh, uh, what do you guys want to be happening because i've already been seeing it flying oh kelly ray reveals that cassia is pregnant you know yesterday in his diary room he revealed that um he's open he's um what how did he even put it he said okay when biggie asked me he said he's open for greatness and he can't wait to be a dad okay and big brother was like oh are you trying to tell me i'm going to be the latest uncle now people perceived it oh kelly ray is supposed that cassia is pregnant and all. of course it is a wish for our wife cassia like we can't wait from nine months from now to hear the good news and the sound the voice of a baby in the house that is what we wish them because kelly ray has always wanted to be a dad now did you guys remember that even yesterday kelly ray was saying that even when they have discussions about marriages like he knows he's married but he doesn't want to co uh, contribute he's always very cautious and careful of what he wants to say because he doesn't want to say things that will make people start wondering come what is how did you get to know all this because i remember the day he had a conversation with oc and way and tj guys kelly was just so kind of cautious of his contribution if i it was mostly tj that had the 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 uh, the uh, most part of that con conversation because tj was the one saying of course he's married but kelly was just still laid back because he didn't want people to know that he was married so this young man did not lose god so saying oh he didn't do this he didn't do that it is uncalled for because he actually deserved the win i somebody made a post and said yeah that she's very happy because this year's season has proven that the show is not all about ras the show is not all about 
bus bus the show is not all about altercation because that's what people perceive as oh you gave us content you gave us everything like you went to the saturday night party you dance 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 and i did yourself you go to um you be in a ship and you mess up and you does content then you have issue with somebody and you blow it all up bring down biggie's house that's content for you people but now this year has shown that it mustn't be that way that that content mustn't just be you can still be your real self and showcase that absolute content that everybody got glued to. And this was exactly what Kelly did. People got glued to the screen because of them. Though people like Sean feel, what are they doing? But I just saw them yesterday. I was like, okay, you don't have a choice than to do what congratulate them now all of the housemates we are happy even those that left uh, before him will be like oh they have the best strategy in fact almost like 80 to 90 percent of the housemates agreed that they had the best strategy they had the best strategy forget what some people say oh if not for this with the season if not for this with the season oh now he's making the shot but when you talk about who had the best strategy who gave us the best strategy ever the no lose guard that we are looking for who was the person that did it that's kelly you guys hey oh my god so yesterday you know it was i thought they were going to i don't know when uh big brother niger is going to allow the housemates to turn off the lights you know like in big brother and sassy the top two are the ones that will be turning off the lights until they leave big brother will be guiding them they keep turning off the lights until they leave it's always fun and intriguing i don't know why uh, biggie will want to do it himself uh, but, but it, it's all good okay so yesterday it wasn't it didn't really come off as a shock it, people weren't surprised because you could see from the audience they were even shouting kelly kelly and if you look at one his uh, face when he was all happy all day because probably standing with kelly ray when he might think oh we i am going to win this thing because you guys know oh i've given so much oh i've done this but i'm really so happy for her both of them did amazing okay both of them i'm i'm really so happy for wani and i pray that god will see her through and that she excels in all that she does because she also tried on the show now guys let's look at the comparison okay that's a phase between kelly Ray's strategy and when he s handy's strategy and you guys you are going to tell me in the comments what you feel about these two strategies because they just highlighted them you know you compare when kelly Ray's strategy you compare one his strategy tell me the one you think it is that is weighty that if you as a viewer were to judge based on the on the strategy who you are going to give the swing to to okay this season because the team of the season is no loose guard we shouldn't just forget that okay it is no loose guard and who was the person that did not lose guard now let's look at the strategy kelly ray's bold move entering big brother niger with his new wife cassia and keeping it a secret Proves his strategic genius. Fans, a K squad, have been jamming to the money is married, anticipating double K's next move. Kelly Ray bravely navigated the pressure of housemates, vying for Cassia's attention, notably Toby Forge. The high risk strategy paid off, earning him respect. Beyond his cunning nature, Kelly Ray was a hard worker, often starting the singing, dancing, cooking, and cleaning with Cassia. His impressive voice and tax dedication won hearts. Just before final evictions, Kelly Ray secured HOH, becoming the first confirmed finalist. I hope you guys are seeing it we have not finished though but as you're reading it just become be, be noting the points that these people have put in here okay so that you actually make your own comparison let it be, not be like somebody is enforcing it and they said celebrating his birthday on the throne he unfortunately bid farewell to evicted castle and eventually revealed their eight month marriage to the house Kelly Ray's emotional composure and calculated gameplay solidified his spot in the finale. Are you guys seeing it? Are you guys seeing it? How people were not able to clock his game plan. He was singing, 
cooking, cleaning, and people don't see all those things as, oh, this guy is actually good. Let's go to Wani. Now, look at Wani. Wani, Tosa, Tosa, Tosa. Wani's name is synonymous with infectious energy and an unforgettable big brother, Niger Johnny, alongside twin sister, Handy. Falling in love was never part of Wani's strategy, but she did. Hooking up with Sean on lunch night, Wani ex Handy and Sean became a tripartite alliance, coined Sean and the chihuahuas are you guys seeing that Wani's strategy is more like of a ship that was why i told you that if Wani had just played with handy now um their bond lasted until his eviction two weeks before the finale the same night Wani faced a double blow losing hand to eviction as well but she didn't let grief define her after one night of tears Wani refocused on her mission are you guys seeing the strategy is there anything that actually got fans like oh let's see Wani's next move let's know what Wani is going to do next let's do this apart from when um sean and handy we are evicted after that routine thing, is there any other thing we saw about wani wani just got glued to sean and that became her own storyline sean and wani and handy sean and wani and handy so you guys i know she gave all on the show but when i saw this i said yes this comparison because people were like oh is wani oh is this it because oh, somebody will come and shout Somebody will come and stay in the kitchen, dance, dance, dance. Okay. Now, let's look at this. So, she adapted, adapted, finding joy in the game without Sean and Handy. A standard achievement. One is the sole finalist to have won the custodian challenge. Energy squad rejoice. One is resilience. Ends her. Rejoice. One is resilience. Ends her. A finale spot. The money is energized. Tosa, Tosa, Tosa. You guys, can you see the whole comparison? So these two now, who do you think that, oh, this is really a very strong strategy? You see Kalire's own, apart from lying about his marriage, people were able to try, trying to clock his next move, so having to, you know, go through, um, you know, the relationship, or would I say the kind of things brewing between his wife and the other housemates, like to be forged, who wants to fall in love with... Uh, our viewers trying to clock his next game. Oh, what's he going to do next? How are they going to do this strategy? Was there to other things that you guys saw? They are cleaning, doing this, doing that, doing that. Like guys, is a whole lot. Okay, so you guys, to me, I think Kelly is a deserving winner. Wani actually gave a show just like Onyeka, but Kelly is a deserving winner. Share your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.